Um, but yeah, this is going to be the only match for tonight. I'm actually not too sad about that myself uh, because I seem to have developed just a small irritation in my nose. I've just been away for the weekend, so I probably caught some kind of like low-key travel cold. Hopefully it's going to go away pretty soon. I definitely don't want to be dealing with that this weekend when I'm uh, working the EU RLCS show. Um, but yeah, that's that's just all of you, uh, all, all the updates you guys are going to need for this match. Only match of the night. Best of five. Zen versus Naipo. Zen's on a seven match winning streak. Uh, Naipo is also on a pretty inc incredible winning streak of his own. Um, in the national ones matches he's been undefeated so far for Saudi Arabia and I'm calling Naupo the fastest opponent Zen's faced so far I think yeah, a lot of you would agree with that I don't think Naupo's the best opponent overall that uh, Zen has faced so far but I think he is the fastest opponent so it's a new test uh, Zen's been able to outpace everybody he's played or at least match the pace of everybody he's played but uh, I think this is going to be his biggest test in that regard with Naupo being an extremely quick player. Zen strikes first. Naupo with low boost, looking to surprise him with a challenge. That's uh, Zen saw that one coming. I've talked about this in the previous Zen matches, but if you have just been, you know, been trying to keep up with what's been going on with Zen's winning streak, uh, let me just give you a very quick recap of who he's beaten um, to be undefeated after seven matches. He has defeated. In my opinion, the five best European players, Razier's Toxic, apparently Jack Jorius and Moxie, he's taken down all five of them. They're, for me, the, five, the top five in Europe for the past few months, um, maybe even the past six months. Zen's beaten them all. He's also beaten, in my opinion, the best player in North America, Daniel. And he's also beaten Lost, who is uh, you know, one of the best players, probably a top six player, a top five, six player coming out of South America. So the only regions that Zen hasn't defeated yet are Saudi Arabia, Middle East, uh, from Saudi Arabia, of course and uh or the other way around and south america's yan i think that the the challengers the main challengers he's still got in order to just be unanimously the best player in the world and i, th I think if he beats these three players um well he'd have to obviously beat four players because you'd have to beat Naipo in front of him as well right now um i think if zen beats um yan uh trk and rawas he is unanimously number one worldwide in 1v1 and I don't think there's any debate about that. I think the only, they're the only three players who have got a shot at him right now. I think there's other players who would be uh, very much in the match. Well, that's a great play by Naupo. Now, now, look at this counter-attack. He somehow sets up a counter-attack by pinching it off his own post. We need to take a look at this for a second. Wow, that's really well played. Um, yeah, I think the only players who are right now in the top five besides Zen are um, Daniel, who he's beaten. Um, and then TRK, Rawas, and Yang. I think that those. I think that's my top five right now. I don't know if that's crazy to say, but my top five one v one players right now, based on the recent results, based on all the recent results, uh, in no particular order: Rawas, TRK, Daniel, Yan, Zen. That's my top five. He's already beaten Daniel, so I think the next three players he has to play are the rest of the top five. Uh, but Naupo is the wild card. He's that other guy in the mix who, on his day can beat anyone and uh, I think he's a very unique player for that he's not very consistent but he peaks incredibly high as I'm sure you guys are aware let's see if Zen can handle him so far it's been a bit tricky Naipo's had those um, surprising bursts of speed that Zen's used to his own advantage against all the opponents he's been farming the past few days wow well played by Zen though so he's correctly read the fact that Naipo's on zero or close to zero boost and to counter that he goes for an air dribble dunk. Now this is really smart because obviously when you've got no boost, you can't really force your car into the ball during an aerial challenge. So aerial dunk, very good way to uh, counter someone on low boost. Zed tying things up there. Lying in his mechanics, but picking a good intelligent play at the same time. 50-50 by Naupo. He recovers well, but so does Zen. Now Zen was, I think, correctly criticized for his weak kickoff game. Um, against Daniel. That is something that Naupo is going to be trying to exploit. I think that's probably the weakest aspect of his game. Weakest aspect of Zen's game, that is. Kickoffs, in my opinion. Game one, Naupo is really bringing it to him. The last three games that, uh, the last three series, I should say, that Zen has played. Have been the closest three that he's played. Toxic, Jorius, and Daniel all going the distance. This one could as well. Naipo giving him a nice shot. A nice one in the chat for this. Single reset play. Of course, 
for Zen. That's pretty basic stuff. I'm not even going to watch the whole replay. <laughs> we're we're going to see plenty more of those. To get Ice, thanks for the 59 month tier one. Also, as Merrick, thanks for the nine month prime. Nine month tier one, I should say. And Ruby RL, thanks for the brand new prime. CGH21, thanks for the brand new tier one. And Chip Sharp, thanks for the nine month tier one. Uh, this is EU server. Going to be EU server all the way through because that's now one of those main servers is EU slash ME. It's a really good save. Nipo in and out to counter attack Zen again. He's hit Zen with a couple of counters already today. Now, Zen would have known that. Nipo is going to be an extremely aggressive player, very fast player, that's what he's known for. Here comes Nipo with a full pitch air dribble off his own backboard. Bale's on it. As, uh, he wasn't really making enough headway with the initial takeoff. Now Zen's pressuring him here to force touches out of Nipo while generating a boost advantage for himself. Nipo retreats the entire pitch. Looks to intercept, but Zen places a low shot past him. Again, a well-worked goal for Zen. I think both players have been extremely evenly matched so far. Very well-worked goal there. I mean, I've, I know some people are going to be like, why are you skipping this, guys? It's a single reset from Zen. Don't worry about it. We're going to see plenty. <laughs> plenty of those. We skip those replays. We actually do, yes. <laughs> we do skip those replays. It's a single reset. We all know what happened. He got a reset on the ball, and then he placed it. And it's, it's just Zen things. Don't worry. If, if, you, if you're wanting to see more of those goals from Zen, I've got seven other show matches that he's played on my channel. Uh, they're all uploaded to YouTube now, so be sure to check all of them out because they're all packed full of clips. Um, but don't worry, if it's a double reset or something incredibly good, then we will be watching it. Zen looking like he's gaining a bit of control here. It does seem like when he gets Nopo and low boost in defense, he uh, has a very quick conversion majority of the time and these kickoffs are looking good for Zen I mean they're not kickoff goals but they might as well be because he's getting the ball under control with 100 boost at his disposal but, oh now post defended brilliantly here and now he's on the breakaway I think he scores and this is all off back corner defense from Naupo not just defending his goal also defending his back corner boost there both players were fighting for it Zen over extended thought he could steal it Naupo managed to nick it right in front of him oh Zen with a delayed kickoff well he's definitely Bringing some new kickoffs to the table here, some strategies. And that one almost got him in a lot of trouble. Here comes Zen again, low aerial takeoff. Decides to come back down to ground and then shoot the ball top corner. It's 18 seconds to go in game one. Zen takes the lead. Why best of five? Why not best of seven? It's because it's very late in France and uh, Saudi Arabia. The players have, uh, well, I think Zen didn't mind, but Naipo is currently playing at 2 a.m. Uh, said he would rather a best of five, and I totally respect that. Well, that's well defended by Naipo. He doesn't have any boost to counterattack with, though, but can he get enough momentum going? Yes, he can. Zen underestimates Naipo's speed. Did not block the shot. It's very well worked by Naipo. Such a precise move to get alongside the ball there with absolutely no boost at his disposal. Zen was grounded at the worst possible time. Naipo going to fight him for the possession here in the closing stages. Just wants to try and force it into the ground, but Zen keeps it up. We've got a zero second attempt from Zen coming up. Mind game, oh, he went for the fake and Naupo blocked the shot just well enough. Another strong kickoff for Zen. He's looking a lot better from the center circle here. Again, Naupo's gonna pressure him. See if he can force a mistake out of him or at least level the boost advantage. He does, both players commit. It's a sort of even recovery, but Naupo's the first to get a shot off. That looks good, Naupo. Comes back from behind and takes game one. And Zen can't believe it. He won the kickoff in overtime. Naupo stayed with him. Managed to equalize and immediately wins the game. Off a strong 50-50. You can clearly see that both players are not backing down at all. From the race that we're currently watching. Every play is a race to the ball. I mean, they both looked incredibly evenly matched as well in that regard. It's a super back and forth game, really. I think boost management wise, I'm liking the way Zen's playing it a little bit more. Um, but Naupo's efficiency with low boost has been incredible. He's really played a brilliant game one there. And he's got Zen, the newest kid to the ones world, in a bit of trouble here. I mean, at what point does Zen start to overthink this win streak he's on. What time does he start to feel the pressure? 
Nightfall coming in and trying to be the guy to beat him, which would be, I think, an upset win, which is kind of crazy to think about. That Zen, after just a couple of weeks of one show matches, is already a favorite against a player like Naipo. And that is just how well he's played during his win streak so far. Early goal lead for Zen, just inside 30 seconds. Push kickoff win for Naipo, it's a strong one. Zen doesn't have a lot of boost to play with here. Naipo wants to bump on him. Zen stops the ball of the goal line, but not enough to keep it out. He dodged the demo. He didn't get the ball clear. Now, I do want to see what Zen attempted here, because this is important to understand what he's going to try. Okay, so he went kind of underneath Naipo, and then backflipped into the ball. So, you know, combining two strategies there, going underneath the air dribble bump player and also getting in front of the ball and backflipping to stop it dead. Um, I'm very curious to see if he tries a different strategy next time around. Indeed he does, very high on the ball there. So notice the, the difference in our Naipo's, or rather how Zen's defended those two air dribbles. First, he stays low, now he's gone high. Naipo gonna have to keep guessing. He comes forward again. Plays for the boost seal with a soft flick on target. Zen managing what little he has left. Well, if I say what little, he's got 54. Naipo coming in again. Unable to generate a real threat in that position. But that awkward touch is important. Zen had a really good bounce there for a full pitch air dribble. Naipo just ruins it before retreating. Little things like that keep offensive monsters like Zen at bay. But he still manages to outplay Naipo in the back corner boost battle. Naipo thought Zen was going to take a bit longer to get back to that ball. Zen got there before it. Now there's a big kickoff win for Naipo. He shoots way too high. A bit of a safe shot though, because he had a backup plan. Zen has got a very tight angle open net. Oh, the no-look doink shot. <laughs> He's just rolled it on target, or popped it on target, I should say. Again, a very low risk shot there from Zen. Has the backup plan on the retreat. But now here comes Naipo with a mind game. Zen not falling for it. Looks like Zen is going to go high into all these 50-50s. Does not want to fall for the same trick that Naipo caught him with in overtime last game. Naipo, a very aggressive player with his defensive strategy. He loves to go. Yes, he'll fake challenges every now and then. Maybe even retreat completely every now and then. But you can bet that he's going to charge in a lot of the time. There's one rare fake from Naipo. Zen going pretty much straight at him here. Not able to generate almost any power on that shot. It probably would have made sense with that line of approach to think about. Um, a pop bump onto Naipo. Mix that one in. Zen still has possession though. Naipo pre jumps. Zen adapts. Forces it underneath him. Tend to the tight angle shot. The post comes to the rescue of Naipo, but Zen's all over him. Oh, the boost steal, or the boost grab, I should say, from Naipo was absolutely perfect. Zen's still pl pl uh, just piling on the pressure here. He wants to keep Naipo on the back foot. Wants to limit his offensive opportunities, but here comes another one. Zen's up early. Again, not wanting to leave himself vulnerable on the goal line with the threat of the air dribble bump lingering in the position. Tight angle rebound from Zen, it's good! My goodness, he's accurate tonight. And I think he's really shown everyone today, in this game, what you do to avoid being chain air dribble bumped. He was caught with one of them, Naipo scored with the first try. Since then, Zen has played three different air dribble defense strategies, and they've all worked. He's mixing things up, he's going early, he's going high, he's going low. Never the same thing two times. Great reflex there from Zen. Naipo trying to shoot behind him. Zen doesn't really need to take any risks now. He's bumping Naipo out of the position. <laughs> Instantaneous recovery by the Frenchman. Naipo trying to get some chaos going. He wants something to work with. Zen going to try Pogo. Oh my goodness, he's actually caught the ball with a Pogo and then shot it on the recovery. <laughs> well, that is a first. <laughs> you, you just have no idea what to expect when Zen's coming at you. Nopo's lining himself up to figure out what's, what's going on. Before he knows it, he's been pogo outplayed <laughs> with a brand new technique. It was kind of a fake pogo shot catch all in one. Brilliant response by Zen. Now he's trying to mind game Naipo with 
Wall dashes on the spot. Just get some kind of panic from his opponent. Now Pope will get one back though, and that's a risk play, risky play there from Zen. He was afraid of the demo, but he took a bit too long to turn. I think obviously running away from the initial demo is smart, but after going close to the mid boost, he kind of got drawn into it. He entered the mid boost gravitational sphere, and uh, that was all Naipo needed to get one goal past him. It's all he needed to get two goals past him, and this is why it's so dangerous to just concede once late in the game. Suddenly you're back to a kickoff. Suddenly you're back to the most volatile position in the entire game. And it's also the position that Naipo will be looking to punish Zen in. This is where Zen has been weak in multiple matchups. Toxic and Daniel both looked incredibly strong against Zen with the kickoffs. Naipo's coming back. One goal difference, and look how much time he's got left. He was down 5-1. Now he's got 54 seconds, and he only needs one more goal. Zen really needs to be flipping in field at some point here. He keeps going to the outside, just like he did against Daniel. He's losing the majority of these. And it looks like Naipo's made a mistake as well. Naipo is getting faked all over the place here. Uh, he's going to recover to make the save. Well, Zen might have been a bit too cheeky there. He had Naipo looking silly. But now he's the one who looks silly. Because he shot the last play right at him. <laughs> Naipo with a brilliant recovery. After being mind games pretty hard. And we have got a complete tie. What a swing. Naipo has Zen on the ropes. Another kickoff win for the Saudi Arabian. Immediate shot saved by Zen. But his boost is gone. And Naipo's going to be coming back at him from another angle. Can Zen keep him out? It's a crossbar to the rescue. Naipo turns. And the next shot, luckily for Zen, was not a good one, but his boost has run out completely. Trips up Naipo on the landing. He's made a little bit of space for himself there. And Naipo saves 23 boosts. Zen's got to be careful here. 23 boosts for Naipo is enough to really fling himself into a quick play. Zen will be delighted that it's nothing too crazy. Just a flick on zero seconds. Now overtime. Zen has to be careful here. He's on a bit of a losing streak with the kickoffs. He does lose this one as well, but he's got a chance to flip back and defend. Naipo builds an angle for himself. The boost seal is his. It's massively winning position for Naipo here. What's it going to be? Flip reset. Zen right there with him. Brilliant defense so far. In a very difficult position. He might have snatched it. Naipo overextends. Zen clutches it up in overtime. Well, it's another repeat of the kickoff woes for Zen. He can't get a win, no matter what he tries. For the record, by the way, I'm pretty sure that that last kickoff Zen went for, it would have probably worked if he was completely goal side. But I think he messed up his approach just slightly. And you know, my, my take on this is that Zen is he's trying new kickoffs today. He knows that his kickoff is a weak element of his game. But I don't think he's had enough practice with these new kickoffs he's trying just yet. He's probably drilled his normal kickoff a million times in 2v2. He's, he's kind of known for being a 2v2 ranked grinder. And Zen's kickoff that he keeps defaulting to is the standard push kickoff, where he gets slightly left of the ball right here and then flips to the right. He's done it again. That's his standard kickoff. He's defaulting to it because I think he's, he's just the most comfortable with this. Um, but he is going to need new strategies. He's going to need to either pull out new strategies or execute his standard play perfectly every single time. Um, yeah, Naipo is uh, a bit more well-versed in the kickoff meta, so still, still a bit scary for Zen um, from the center circle. Huge counter-attack shot from Zen. That's just going to go straight in. Oh my goodness, have you ever seen a well-clear pair of that? It's just in the top corner. <laughs> If you look up boom in the dictionary, you're just going to see a picture of that goal. <laughs> you know, this might sound crazy, but that's actually something you can replicate in your own games, ladies and gentlemen. If you're, if you're not comfortable with your back well clears, just look at how Zen played that one. Waits for the bounce, just like you do when you're waiting for a half volley. Great save there, by the way, by Zen. Um, and as soon as the ball bounces on the back wall, did you see what he did? He side flipped. He didn't front flip, he didn't diagonal flip, he side flipped into the ball. When you side flip into the ball like that, you get way more power on your back wall clear. Zen, double reset, denied by the post. Naipo wasn't getting anywhere near that one. Huge flick by Naipo. Oh, it's in off the bar. What a play. Zen shadowing closely, but he won't be able to do that again. Because Naipo has just flicked the ball from inside his own half with perfect trajectory. 
Robin7682, thanks to the Prime, Travish92, Travish92, sorry, thanks to the, the gifted sub to Greymates and the Prime sub of your own. And MS Dossery7, thanks to the Tier 1, hey, shout out to you. Uh, I, I, yeah, I believe that that is the uh, legend from Falcons, is uh, here, I'm sure, to support Naipo, the first Middle Eastern challenger to Zen. And Zen's win streak, more importantly, FIFA GOAT, indeed. Shout out, dude. Uh, good to have you. Both players have been defending extremely well, but they've also been made to look pretty silly by each other's offense at times. I mean, there's no denying that Naipo and Zen have got two of the scariest offensive packages in the world of 1v1 Rocket League right now. Um, you know, I was talking about Yan the other day as maybe being the best attacker in the world of ones. But these guys are right up there with them. I think Zen and Naipo are absolutely um, at that top tier. Naipo's been mind games. Zen with a gorgeous fake. I think he even threw in a reset and a bit of a 50-50 as well. We need to look at Naipo's POV here. It's very difficult for him to get any good touch on that. Even if he did play the ball slightly, I think that Zen was probably absorbing the touch and would have likely scored regardless. Zen in control. Naipo. Oh, that's not a good touch for him, actually. That's going to take some time. Had an opening. A heavy, heavy touch has completely left it unavailable for him. As now Zen rattling the post again. Naipo and Zen have both relied on the upright to keep them safe at times. And that is Naipo with a counter-attack straight down the middle. He's going to make it work as well. Not directly off the backboard. After a quick uh, recovery on the ceiling, Naipo converts. I think I've missed a couple of subs here, so let me just thank them really quickly. Lil Pizza Boy and Scandal UK, Decay Ice, uh, welcome back and welcome to the stream, respectively. Flintar as well, appreciate all of you guys tuning in tonight and everybody else who's watching, um, either on my stream or any of the viewing parties that are tuning in. I say this every time I stream uh, ones tournaments and big ones show matches, but if you are thinking about um, asking, I know a lot of people wait a while to build up the courage to ask if they can view party my content. The answer is yes, and it always is yes. And the uh, fact is, you don't have to ask. Just go ahead. You're uh, all welcome. Let's bring the Rock League community together to witness greatness. Zen, up again. Now, Pope. Has just not been comfortable. He's trying to force a challenge there. Just desperately trying to force a challenge. Because uh, he knows he backs off. He's in a world of trouble. Zen knows that and just air dribbles the ball right over him. He's looking to do it again. One reset, two resets, and a dunk as well. It's 4 2. Naipo's defense is crumbling here, but can you really blame him when you've got offense like Zen's coming at you? There is often little you can do. And Naipo saved the initial shot, but he's at the mercy of the dunk just moments afterwards. Luan Vui and uh, Bubble Luke and Finer. Thanks for the subs. Appreciate you guys. Finer with the resub. 37 months. Welcome back. Another chain re reset from Zen. This one will be denied by Naipo. Counterattack is going to be denied by Zen's position. Naipo seals the boost. Goes straight for the aerial play of his own. Oh, it's an attempt of the... Give me your opponent a taste of your own medicine there. The reset dunk. But Zen somehow keeps it out in the back of the net. I don't know how he saved this. <laughs> I really don't. Looked like a guaranteed goal the way Naipo was coming in. Zen managed to sneak the ball past him. Another critical touch there from Zen, just buying himself some time. And now, but actually opting to immediately attack straight down the center of the field instead of going for the back corner boost and leaving himself vulnerable for the demo. It really just shows how eager Naupo is to attack, regardless of his boost total. Zen's going to let him come forward here. He's saying, go, come on then. Let's play in my back corner. And then when he does come to the back corner, Zen outplays him and scores again. It's just a masterful positioning play from Z uh, Zen there. He's known for his mechanics, um, but he's also got the ones IQ to make it look like he's played this game mode for years. I don't know how he's such a smart ones player when he is brand new to the mode, but he is right now just on a different level. He's fully taken control of the match again, and now Pope is completely lost for what to do. Long range air double shot down before it could even start. 
I mean, if you're new, you know, I know some of you are probably new to watching Naupo's matches uh, because he's not an RLCS player. He was in the Spring Split last year. Similar to Zen, I mean, these two are, have a lot more in common than some of you might realize. And they've both had a one-year ban from RLCS. Zen's is just about to end. Naupo's will end um, at the start of next season. They're both incredibly mechanical, uh, mechanically gifted. They're both uh, amazing 1v1 players and uh, super entertaining to watch, but... Yeah, Naupo's got an incredible ones resume. I, I think he's probably, right now, a top 15 1v1 player. Um, I, I hesitate to say top 10 because Naupo suffers from inconsistencies against players he's supposed to beat. Like many other players at the top, like Moxie, like Daniel. Um, you know, players that you're supposed to beat when you're the heavy favorite, uh, you know, can sometimes be a problem for some of the top players in the ones world, Naupo being one of them. But when you put him in matches against the very best players in the world, he always looks competitive. He looks competitive here. Um, but that game three, Zen completely took control and dominated. And if he can just win one more game, his win streak will extend to eight. And he will have beaten players from all four of the major 1v1 continents. He's already checked off North America, South America, and Europe. Looking to add the Middle East tonight. Had Naupo come back. He took the first game. Went to overtime game two. Game three was all Zen, though. You know, one of the other problems Naupo had for a while, not so much recently, but when he first came onto the one scene, he did seem to struggle with the, the mental game late in series. When things would go wrong, they would go really wrong. Um, now, if you consider that game three going really wrong for him, then let's see how he responds. I think uh, if we're going off his more recent matches, he should be just fine mentally, but the problem he's got is that Zen is reading every move he makes. I don't think he's got too much of an issue with his own confidence. It's just that he can't get the ball past Zen. Yeah, who's next? is a question everybody's always wondering whenever Zen's playing. It's almost like that question starts being asked. I'm asking it now. Before the current series he's playing is ever even over. Yeah, I think it's a very clear top three that's next in line. Zen does supplement his offensive game with an air dribble bump. But not before he flip resets and pops the ball on target. I mean, if there's a creative way to air dribble bump someone, that was it. Yeah, like I said, guys, I think the, the top three that deserve a shot at Zen are Ruas, TRK, and Yan. And then next in line after that would probably be first killer Khaled and uh, AJ, I think. After that, who knows if anyone else even has a shot, really. Um, at that point, I think you have to go back to rematches if it beats everybody else. That's unless anyone else decides to just become a ones beast in the next few weeks or months. Yeah, Zen's in free play right now. He is just completely flow state activated. What can Naupo do? Fakes the ground pinch, looking to place the shots up corner. Zen cl closes the distance there. Another very educational play by Zen. How to goal keep complicated aerial plays. Just close the distance. Try to get closer to the ball. The closer you get to the ball, the harder it is for the opponent to, to pass you. 4-0. It's a crushing position. I hope with a small boost advantage here. Is then able to generate a favorable 50. I hope escapes the wrath of the Frenchman in the back corner. And gets started with his counter-attack. Big volley to the top corner, but it is unfortunately off the crossbar. To make matters worse for Naupo. Zen read that it was hitting the crossbar. He was ahead on the race to the boost. Naupo's out of the game now. He's trying to sneak in challenges. And he just cannot surprise Zen. Anything he tries to do, seems like Zen sees it coming. He's taking a game or two there to warm up to Naupo's playstyle, but now it's just all Zen. One-way traffic. An even more one-sided game than the last one. Naupo needs to get a goal, and he needs to get a goal very, very soon. You know, whereas other players might be completely surprised and out of position after Naupo crunches them with an early challenge. It seems like Zen's recoveries are just too good. GG's from Naupo. You know the wild thing is? 
I don't think that's even an early GG's. I think that might just be fair enough. Sheesh, says Zen. Zen speedruns his eighth win in a row. And he has now conquered top tier competition from all the major ones regions. What can this man do? Only Jan, Rawas, and TRK remain. He says, I can do another if you want. This guy's relentless. He's absolutely relentless. 